Hello guys, you're using back with another video of Mastercam 2022 and in this video I will show you how to make a solid part from a sketch from the wireframe basically and do the programming for it. So let's get started. This uh, procedure or process that I'm going to show you is called print or print to paper or paper to print format that I just learned recently and how it works is instead of having an actual part or a solid given to you you will be just handed a drawing and from the drawing you, you will work on to make the wireframe and if you need a solid you make the solid as well you use features inside mastercam that are under solid like extrude revolve and other features to get the solid surface and then you can apply the operations rather than importing any part from SOLIDWORKS or any other surfacing or uh, part designing software. So it might be a two step video, it could be just for the fact that I'm not sure how will it go and how long will it take. So I'm just going to get started as soon as possible. So, I can show you one thing for sure right here. I'll go to top view. We will start with just a simple part so that nothing is complicated. I'm going to make a rectangle, anchor to center, make sure. I'm going to keep it's in inches right now, keep it. Uh, four inches wide height is three so basically a very small part symmetric zoom in we will zoom in a bit and then i also want some corner holes and corner red so i'm just going to use fillet fillet chain right here select chain click ok you can justify the fillet 0 0.25 or zero or half inch whichever way you think is good we are just trying to make something out of it so then i'm going to have some holes as well i'm going to offset some entities right here i will put it to be 0.75 distance from the red or let's be at the center point of the red that would be better or you know what if i'm just going to use center point then i probably don't even need any one of those I can just use this rad tangent no tangent no tangent no no all right I can just offset it zero point five similarly zero point five as well there we go we got one point similarly if I want to offset I can offset from here as well zero point five Usually it's not always that it perfectly aligns so you can make different different offsets. Okay not selecting for some reason that's very weird manual oh my bad okay I'm going to put the radius to be 0 0.125 and diameter is 0.25 similarly I can just use it right here as well if I lock this I can use multiple of them 0 0.125 and let's say if I lock it lock both of them I can simply take and make another and right here click OK I don't need this wireframe I can get rid of it so I will make another circle in the middle which I want the radius to be bigger around 0.5 radius so 1 inch in diameter and I also want it to be a pocket 
not just a simple rectangular surface I'm also going to make a rectangle which is going to look something like this of let's say width to be 2.5 inches and the height to be 1.5 there we go I click OK there we are so now I'm going to go to isometric view I will go to my solids extrude the surfaces so I want to make sure that my so I want to make sure that my extruded surface is right off here there we go I'm going to extrude the entire surface I forgot to add the fillets we should add some fillets here as well because it's not possible to have perfect 90 degree angle anywhere so just going to use fillet chain once again right here in the 25 looks good there we go go back to solid extrude so I want to have this and well basically for now I just want this and all these small holes to be through hole and let's also take the bigger one and extrude it on the other side reverse direction we said okay I want one inch of thickness to be there and that's what I've kept one inch and now I'm going to just extrude cut this particular surface right here this is going to be cut body not one inch but I would say 0 0.25 in thickness which looks something like this which looks a decent part to start with just on a simple programming so right now what I'm going to show you is we are done with the solid modeling of this so I can go to my levels and make two different levels one for the solids I'm going to make solid and one another level as well where I'm going to write as wireframe so I will simply right click on it or before that I will go to select all wireframe entities right click go to change levels come here unselect use active levels click on select and because this is already wireframe just click and verify it's on wireframe click ok so it will eventually move all the entities from solid to wireframe so now if I hide wireframe and activate solid this is the only solid that I have which is just one entity and if I click on wireframe I can see both of them if I hide solid I can see only the wireframe itself so right now I would use both of them as active working on solid mainly so now we are finally free to start with the programming part of this so in next video I will show you how to do the programming on this part so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and watch the next video to show or to see the actual programming of this. Thank you.